Hi guys, welcome to another Mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at dealing with fractions. And if we just take a quick overview, fractions are simple and convenient ways of representing decimal numbers, i.e. like 0 0.5 equals a half or 0 0.25 equals a quarter. And fractions can be multiplied, divided and added or subtracted just the same as any other number. Now, when we do anything with the fractions, we have two key considerations we must ask ourselves. Do we need a common denominator, which means the bottom of the fraction is the same value, and you do need this when you come to add and subtract fractions? A non-common denominator can apply to multiplying and dividing fractions. So if we take a look at question number one. Question number one asks us to calculate 3 over 4 plus a fifth. Now, from the rules before, remember that we need a common denominator on the bottom. Now, in order to do this, you can use a method called kiss and smile. And the way that kiss and smile works is you cross multiply and then you times the two numbers on the bottom by themselves just like the arrows on the screen I'll show you that one more time so you cross multiply and then times the 4 and the 5 together and it'll look something like that so you'll do the 3 times 5 which comes from here so the 3 times 5 is this section here divided by 4 times 5 which is here plus and then 4 times 1 and cross multiply 1 times 4 over 4 times 5 now this will give you 15 over 20 plus 4 over 20 now that has you got the common denominator on the bottom of 20 which means you only add the two top values so in this case 15 plus 4 will give us 19 over 20 so then if we take a look at question number two, question number two asks us two over three take away two over five. Now again, because we're subtracting, we must get a common denominator on the bottom. So same as question one, we'll use the kiss and smile method. And again, cross multiply and then times the two numbers on the bottom. So we get the intermediate calculations 2 times 5 over 3 times 5 minus 2 times 3 over 3 times 5. So that will give us 10 over 15 minus 6 over 15. Because we've got common denominator now, we just do the two top numbers take away each other, which will give us 4 over 15. Now, question number 3 is a lot easier in the sense that you don't have to use the kiss and smile method because this is one of the calculations that does not require a common denominator. So all you really have to do is times the two tops and times the two bottoms of the fraction and that is it. So it becomes 2 times 5 over 3 times 8 which will give you 10 over 24. Now if you left this in the exam and in the exam it asks for it in its simplest form, you would lose the final mark. So you always need to make sure that you can simplify it where possible. And in this case we can divide the top and the bottom by 2 to give us a final answer of 5 over 12. And then lastly, if we look at question 4, this one is a divide, so it's asking us 2 over 9 divided by a third. Now, from the start of the PowerPoint, we were told that when you divide fractions, you do not need a common denominator. However, you have a small trick that you must do when you divide fractions, and this only applies to dividing fractions. You must flip the second fraction upside down, and then the sign will inverse itself, so the opposite of divide is times. So once you flip the second fraction upside down, it then becomes times. And just like in question 3, when you times fractions, you simply times the two tops 
and the two bottoms. And this will give us 6 over 9, and again, that can simplify to 2 over 3. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.